Hi, uh, this is Fish and More with how to treat a bubble tip anemone with a bacterial infection. You can normally tell if he's got a bacterial infection going on by shortened tips, lack of color, gaping mouth, reluctance to eat, and hiding from uh, light. The number one things you want to treat with are iodine and ciproflaxin. The brand you use doesn't matter, you just need the active ingredient at the right milligrams and milliliters. Prior to starting treatment, I went ahead and tried to feed him. He wasn't taking any kind of normal feeding, but I have found that no one can resist a combo of Reef Nutrition, AB Plus, and uh, Reef Roids in a little mix I gave him with a feeding probe. He took it like a champ, like they always do. And after he had gotten a good feeding, I got one gallon of tank water and 250 uh, milligrams of ciproflaxin. And I crushed the pill, added it to the tank water in here, and got a little power head, and got it to circulate and getting the pill completely dissolved. There is a sponge over that power head, so don't worry, he's not gonna get sucked in. I, once I got it all nice and mixed up, using tank water from the tank and having it at the right temperature, I went ahead and got him. He was pretty loose on the rock because he was pretty sick. No damage done to the foot, that's key. If you think you're going to damage the foot, just don't even try, or you'll probably kill it. I got the one gallon of tank water, 250 uh, milligrams of ciproflaxin. I'm going to give him one hour in this. Uh, this is going to be kind of a one-time dip, more than likely, because I don't think I'm probably going to be able to get him off the rocks again. And I'm not going to put them through that stress. That's why I'm doing a high concentration one-time dip. Normally, the way you would take care of these guys is you would get a 10-gallon tank. And you administrate 250 milligrams of ciproflax into that 10-gallon tank. And you'll do a 50% water change once a day and continue adding that 250 milligrams of ciproflaxin. At the end of about a week, you'll see your bubble tip has come right back. In that process, you'll need a proper light that he can be adjusted to. And it's not gonna be too intense or anything. Definitely wanna go on the lower end of the par than the higher end. When you're doing uh, any of this, make sure there's flow for the anemone. You don't have to have them dancing around the tank like this, but it's a good way to actually get them just completely coated in the medication that have them just retract into himself. This is a normal behavior for anemones. They're totally fine uh, coming off the rocks, swallowing up, and just becoming a tumbleweed. Uh, it's one of the reasons why a lot of reefers don't keep them in their fish tanks, because they'll just decide to do that across all their coral. Yeah, I'm going to give him one hour in this, and then I'm going to go ahead and place him back in the tank after a quick dip in some fresh water. Just got to make sure I get all that medication off of him. And I'm going to place a rock over him, because he's just going to want to go ahead and hide from the light and hide from everything for a little bit. I'm going to make sure he's getting flow, but I'm going to hide the light from him, keep him in the shadow. And after about three days, I'll go ahead and pull that rock off, and he should be ready to start acting normal again. Uh, without that rock, he'll probably just go ahead and hide somewhere difficult to ever find him or get him out again, and he could just become reluctant to feed or eat again or uh, anything from the light, and this whole treatment won't work. So you gotta make sure he is going back into a normal position once you're done. I'm gonna go ahead and keep giving him some coral nutrition and refroids every three days. It is a one-way entrance, one-way exit for the anemone, so you need to make sure they're getting time to expel waste prior to putting more in them. Uh, a simpler trick for a lot of anemones, especially if you're just 
kind of thinking something's wrong is just to give them a quick iodine dip and kints. Uh, like I said, it doesn't matter what the brand is, you just need iodine, but Lugo's is kind of the standard. Um, give him that dosage, give him a quick dip, and that'll usually help out. But once he's gotten to the stage I let this guy get to, he'll actually need uh, Cyproflaxin. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, hope this helped.